Hello students, in this video we have taken some more other special molecules in order to explain oxidation states in special cases. Taking the first molecule K3CrO8, for, for calculating the oxidation state of K3CrO8, here student requires its structure. It is not possible to calculate the oxidation state directly in the simple way. It composed of K3, 3K plus ions and CrO8 minus 3. Thus, look at the structure of CrO8 minus 3. Here, chromium made 5 bonds with 5 oxygens and all oxygens have single bond between 2 oxygen atoms that is called peroxy bond. Chromium has only 5 bonds, so its oxidation state is plus 5. In peroxy bonds, every oxygen carries minus 1 oxidation state. So, here answer is evaluated only by knowing its structure. Come to the next molecule, H2S2O3. This is called thiosulfuric acid. Thio, where oxygen is replaced by the sulfur, you will add just name thio. Thiosulfuric acid. Here there are two sulfur atoms. How can you calculate the oxidation state of both the sulfurs? Look at the structures of the molecules. This is the skeletal structure. I am taking S double bond S. It is an isostructural with the sulfuric acid. Look at the sulfuric acid structure also. There oxygen is there. That oxygen is replaced by the sulfur. That is why it is called thiosulfuric acid. And the second molecule is sulfuric acid. In this sulfuric acid, sulfur exhibits plus 6 oxidation state and oxygen carries minus 2. Here and there it carries minus 2, OH group minus 1, minus 1. Thus, the central sulfur has plus 6 oxidation state. Coming to the thiosulfuric acid. Instead of one oxygen, sulfur is placed. Oxidation state will not change for all atoms. So, in thiosulfuric acid, one sulfur has minus 2 oxidation state and central sulfur has plus 6 oxidation state. Right? Go for the another molecule, FeCr2O4. In this molecule, there are two metal ions. One is the iron, another one is the chromium. How can you write the oxidation state? By splitting into it anion radical Fe plus 2 and Cr2 O4 minus 2. In Fe plus 2, simply it is an ion, it has oxidation state of plus 2. In Cr O4 minus 2, you will calculate its oxidation state by a simple way. There are two chromiums, 2x plus oxygen is minus 2, 4 times is equal to minus 2. On simplification, 2x is equal to plus 6, x is equal to plus 3. So, thus iron exhibits plus 2 and chromium exhibits plus 3. Go for another molecule that is red lead. Red lead formula is Pb3O4. Pb3O4 is a mixed oxide, mixed oxide that means it is a combination of two or more oxides. Pb3O4 is composed of two moles of PbO and one mole of PbO2 because it is composed of two types of oxides we can call it as a mixed oxide, two moles of PbO and 1 mole of PbO2 on addition Pb3O4. It is a mixed oxide.
not only PB3O4, Fe3O4 also mixed oxide. In PBO plus 2 oxidation state for the PB and in PBO2 it has a plus 4 oxidation state. Average oxidation state of PB3O4 can be calculated by the addition of all oxidation states and dividing by number of PB atoms. On simplification answer will be plus 8 by 3. So, that is average and different oxidation states. Taking another molecule, it is also one more special molecule CaOCl2. This is commonly called bleaching powder. In this bleaching powder, we are going to calculate oxidation state for chlorine. What are the, here how can you calculate? This CaOCl2 is composed of Ca plus 2. Cl minus and ClO minus. In case of Cl minus, oxidation state is minus 1. In ClO minus is oxidation state of chlorine is plus 1. So, in bleaching powder, chlorine will exhibit minus 1 oxidation state and as well as plus 1 oxidation state. So, this is the way of calculating the oxidation state of chlorine in bleaching powder taking one more molecule NH4NO3. In this molecule cationic species contain nitrogen, anionic species containing nitrogen. How can you calculate nitrogen oxidation state here? Splitting into cation and anion. Here the key point is the splitting of the compound into cation and anion. After that you have to follow with the simple uh, way of calculation. In NH4 plus a nitrogen carries X and hydrogen plus 1, 4 hydrogens is equal to plus 1, therefore X is equal to minus 3 and in case of NO3 minus on simple calculation it will be plus 5. This is the way of calculating oxidation state for the simple molecules. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe. If you are liking this one, please share to your friends circle. Thank you very much. Hello students, in this video we have taken some more other special molecules in order to explain oxidation states in